this next week going to be like for you as you head up to your first you know, real action at the start of the season? Um, I feel like it's going to be the same, but, you know, just more intensity. Um, I feel like, you know, getting used to it, getting adjusted, um, you know, these preseason games. So I feel like, you know, each game is getting better and better, and that's the most important thing, and I feel like I've been doing a good job. Anything surprise you so far about this transition? Um, just the, the intensity. I feel like the pace is kind of, the pace is up-tempo. Um, but the intensity is different, you know. I feel like us younger guys got to bring the intensity, and I feel like that's what the Raptors does bring a lot of uh, effort and the defense uh, on the defense end. What do you feel like has been the biggest adjustment at the NBA level so far? Uh, probably just timing. Um, I feel like you know in college you got a lot of time, so NBA you know time is limited. There's certain spots you got to be here and here, so I feel like time is definitely different. Oh, physicality. Uh, physicality, you know, I feel like you know I'm I'm in great shape, um, so I feel like the physicality is a little bit more stronger, but I feel like I'm I'm ready for that. You and a couple of guys were at the Leafs game last night. What was that uh, experience like? <laughs> uh, it was fun. That was my first hockey game ever, so um, it was it was definitely different. I didn't know what was going on at first, but um, you know, I kind of picked up. People were teaching us in, the, in front of us, but it was fun. It was really good. What is it like, kind of like bonding with the other young guys on the team, you know, going out to Leafs game? Other experiences mm -hmm. that you guys might have? Uh, it's been great. You know, we've been bonding you know, on and off the court. Uh, we've been going to dinner, so you know, just building that team chemistry early from the younger guys, and it translates. So I feel like it's definitely good. Anybody uh, pulled you aside, give me some words at all, teammate-wise? Uh, I feel like everybody has. Um, obviously, you know, Scotty has, but um, I feel like Quick, RJ, you know, G Temp, everybody, you know, all the vets been, you know, giving us advice and everything, trying to keep us up to date. So what's it been like for you the last little while recovering, but then also watching your teammates play? Been a little different for sure. Always want to be out there with you guys, um, but just trying to find different ways to get better, um, different ways to help other guys get better. Um, just from what I've learned in the last four or five years being in the league, different ways. We have a lot of rookies. Every time somebody has to sing a happy birthday, it's like seven or eight rookies. So I've, I have an obligation to help seven or eight guys anytime I get a chance. So I try to do that. How's it felt the last couple days, sort of ramping up and going through full packages again? Pretty good. Uh, they had like four or five different casts to try out. Uh, just trying to find a good one that can protect me. Uh, but feel pretty good. Uh, otherwise, just trying to get my wind back and stuff like that, get my legs under me. You're going to play with that? Um, something like that? Still questionable for tomorrow, to be honest. Uh, but we'll see. See how I feel tomorrow. I went through practice today, so uh, we'll see how I feel tomorrow. It looked like you were uh, working kind of inside a little bit, closer to the rim. Can you explain like, why the importance of that for your game right now? Uh, just trying to find different ways to get better. Um, I'm pretty much known for somebody that can shoot the three. feel like I show my playmaking a lot. Uh, just trying to get better. You know. Great scores are great scores from all three levels, really four levels, free throw line as well. Uh, so just trying to find different ways I can get better around the rim, increase my two-point percentage. That'll open up more shots for my teammates and stuff like that. So just trying to get better. Emmanuel, you looked at last year and was one of your first extended runs at being a point guard. Really, you know, given situation. Well, my first extended run to y'all. I've been a point guard my whole life. Um, but, you know, in the NBA, because you've had to bounce between different roles and being a starter. So when you look back in the offseason, how did you think you did? Where do you think your areas for improvement are? Um, I'm always somebody, you know, nobody will ever hold a higher standard for myself than myself. Um, my goals are higher than pretty much anybody could uh, ever ask of me. So for myself, I'm always going to find new ways to get better. I never feel like I'm a finished product. Uh, and that's why I'll continue to keep making strides. Um, as far as, you know, leadership, you can be better than that. You know, day to day, like she said, scoring around the rim could be better at that. There's always different ways, defense, uh, there's always different ways you can find to get better, you know. Uh, the best players in the world, they find ways to get better, whether it's on or off the floor, and I want to be one of those guys. What have you made of the point guards holding down the roll while you're keeping out? Man, uh, one of the best things about playing with playing against Jamal, or having Jamal and Davion is in practice, uh, I get like, they try to dog me, and I love it. Uh, it kind of reminds me of when I was at Kentucky, I had uh, Ashton Higgins. And we used to go at it in practice, and the Jamal's talking to me and all type of stuff, and I'm talking back to him. So it's good, and I know it's only going to prepare me and him uh, for when we get into battle. So uh, it's good to have guys like that that push you to, to become better, because iron sharp as iron. Do you like the idea of potentially spending time on the court, like playing Wait, with one? Wait, did I get Fonte? I don't know. I'm good? Well, not from us. <laughs> <laughs> Got to stop cursing, man. Do you like the idea of potentially spending time on the court with, with one of them and kind of like playing on and off the ball, being able to defer a little bit to another point guard? Yeah, I mean, um, I wouldn't necessarily call it defer, but more just play alongside. I've done that for pretty much, you know, my whole career being able, that's pretty much how I've been able to 
find a way to really be in the league, stay in the league, was at first, you know, just being able to play with other guys. Play with Jalen Brunson, play with Derrick Rose, Kemba Walker. Um, I played with a, num a numerous amount when we was at Kentucky. Me and Tyrese shared the ball a lot. So um, just trying to find different ways to be better. It all comes back to that. Uh, finding ways to be better, finding ways to manipulate the game and find ways uh, just to be the best player you can. We've seen Scotty bring the ball up a lot in the preseason. Sort of a similar question, but how do you feel playing alongside him? We didn't see it too much last year the injury. But sort of you playing maybe more in the shooting position than him handling point guard. Yeah, I feel like I, I can do either one. Um, Obviously, just the way I've been able to, I feel like I've started to play make uh, really well, passing the ball, making reads, watching film, seeing where guys like the ball, seeing where I can manipulate the defense, and then playing with Scotty. Uh, sometimes I'm off the ball. Sometimes, you know, my mindset is to score and attack. Um, so just finding different ways when, when to score, when to pass, when to take over, when to, you know, let Scotty take over a little bit, and just finding ways to where we can, you know, kind of flow throughout the game. I know you and Yak have been working on the two-man game. You and Scotty could obviously work in so many iterations of the two-man game. What's that process been like? It's good. Uh, I say it all the time, playing with great players makes the game really easy. Uh, you don't have to do too much. A lot of times you honestly just catching and shooting, uh, so which makes the game really easy. So uh, he's a tremendous player. He's been dominating practice a lot. Uh, his, his vocal leadership is something that you know I like and inspires me. I'm sure as far as my teammates, uh, and it's been a lot of fun. You ready to set those screens for him? Absolutely, absolutely. I know it's been an injury riddle preseason, but strictly from like an observation standpoint, what kind of has like jumped out to you about this team and the preseason action? Um, I think our team has already made steps from last year, uh, as I'm sure does everybody does in the preseason. Well, not the preseason, but as you spend more time with somebody, you get to know more, you get to see, and you just get to see steps that, you know, your team takes, you know, as a, as a whole. So uh, our guys are really starting to gel together, and we like each other off the court, uh, and that's a big part of chemistry on the floor is liking each other off the floor, I feel like. So, um, you know, we got a lot of young guys, immature guys, so we're still working on that part. But uh, overall, I think I, I like our squad. What's like one step that stands out? Um, chemistry's not one. Chemistry could be, but like on a skill set more so. Skill set, uh, how hard we play. I think fans, fans and people around the league will recognize us for how hard we play. Darko wants you guys to play more aggressively defensively this year, especially at the point of attack. Is that something that suits your style of defense? Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like I can play either way. You know, I can, like I said, I played and also on the ball as far as offensively, you have to be able to do the same thing off the ball. Sometimes your point of attack and pick and roll isolation, and sometimes you know you're the help man or the rotation man. So uh, you know, defensively, it's really about how hard you do it, not really much about, you know, tendencies and techniques and stuff like that, but a lot of it is how hard you do it. I got Darko over here making faces, making a heart sign. Love you too, guy. Darko, last preseason game, what are you, uh, you glad it's over? You think it was going to be an important opportunity for the guys? Or? Uh, every game is, is a huge importance for, for us. Uh, we are a very young team. Uh, we need all those reps. We need all of those experiences. We need all of those uh, learning moments. Uh, so uh, I'm glad that we're playing uh, another road game. Uh, we, as a young team, we need to learn what it takes to play on the road as well. So this is this is a great opportunity for us. How do you, want, you want to see more guys play, like different guys play longer minutes, or how do you how do you uh, view it? I mean, uh, we're approaching the start of the regular season, so we would like to to uh, see our kind of like main rotational guys getting a little bit more minutes, getting in a, in a, in the groove of, of the season. How did IQ come out of the last couple of days of practice? Really good. Uh, actually, today was uh, he was clear to do absolutely everything with the team. Uh, he went through full practice, uh, no restrictions whatsoever. Uh, so he's doing well. Well, what, how do you hope to use him for you know this next game if, if he does play or the first game of the season? Are you guys going to work on him slowly or? For sure. Like if uh, we'll see how he feels tomorrow, if he's going to be available uh, for the game or not. But if he does play, uh, I don't want to put too much on him and too many minutes. We gotta be smart to build him, and you know, one thing is to work out with, uh, with coaches, and different thing is to go in and really compete in NBA games. So condition is gonna be primary thing over here next uh, five or six days until opening night. With Davion and Ochai, obviously if you're at full health, they're probably coming off the bench. Do you think? Does it hurt? Does it help? Does it matter that they're getting so many reps with the other starters right now? 
I mean, there, there's no, <laughs> there's no other pathway. Uh, I think it's good for them uh, to to see what it looks like to share the court with uh, with Scotty. You know, I think that's very important. Be, a lot of times we play. Scotty in the second unit as well. Uh, Scotty is the player that last season uh, played the hardest in the league and they covered the most miles of any other player. So when, the, when you have players that play like that, you, you need they, they need some breaks in the game. So for him, that's a lot of times playing those three stints, especially in the first half. And uh, when he plays with the second unit, all different kind of players are going to be playing with him. So for Davian, for Jamal, for all of those guys to have a chance to share the court with him, they're learning about him and he's learning about them. I think it's very valuable uh, time uh, they spend together on the court. With IQ coming back, you, you've got the three-point guards, Davion and, and Jamal as well. Given the versatility of some of these guys, and especially quick being able to play on and off the ball, does that allow you to maybe have three point guards in the rotation, be able to play a couple of them together at a time? I mean, uh, at a time, uh, for sure. Um, we got to understand why we're here, what, what are we trying to accomplish here, and we want really to to develop uh, Emmanuel as, as our starter and really to, to uh, put him in all of those fires that he needs to be in. I think it's amazing that we have three-point guards. Like in the practice day, you can see like every everybody's pushing each other. Like, you know, Davion is make, making quickly better. Jamal is making Davion better. Like they they're really really competing, and uh, any team wishes for that. That you have more players that are competing for the same spot and makes everybody better. What's uh, I mean, what's a kind of a realistic expectation to view IQ through? I mean, he's I think he's only started like 65 games in his career or something. Not all of them. So, yet he's a five-year player, he's right. not a big number, so how do you look at him, how do you assess him? That's, uh, Michael, that's a very, very good question. Um, he had different role on, on different team, uh, he came to us and in the middle of season, I think this, this year is for him to stabilize, you know, uh, he does not have to worry about anything else but getting better on the court, better, getting better offensively and defensively. And uh, his mindset is the right one. He, he understands what he needs to do. Uh, he worked really, really hard this summer. Um, I mean, I wish he was able to, to play in those uh, preseason games so far. But uh, all we want to see is uh, him growing uh, in a sense of how to run the team, how to be efficient scorer, how to play on the ball, how to play off the ball, uh, how to run the team. This is going to be first time for him to start and be in that role and to be for the whole season and knowing that he belongs there. You know, so uh, it's going to be a learning process for him and, and for us to use him the best way we can. Darko, how's RJ doing? Do you, do you expect him to be available for opening night? Uh, RJ is doing uh, better every day. Uh, he will not travel with us to Brooklyn just to give him some uh, extra time for uh, his recovery and treatments. Uh, once we come back, we'll try to see how much he can do in practices. We're hopeful that he's ready for opening night but I cannot guarantee that at this time. It looks like Jacoby's shooting over there. I know you asked you, I asked you about the plan yesterday. Is he making progress? And uh, he's making progress. He's getting better, but uh, this type of injuries, especially his stage where he's at, it's, uh, it, we'll have to be patient. You know, he's doing more. He started doing shots. He started doing ball handling, but he's not clear to do uh, contact yet.